guys and welcome back to the channel. Good morning. We have the carpet guy coming in 45 minutes to clean the carpets in the house. I have not unpacked any of my clothes. I'm still living out of my overnight suitcase and the clean washing that my mum brought around. Just logically thinking, um, if I get all of the clothes unpacked and into the wardrobes, it will relieve so much space on the floors that he can tidy up properly. There's no rhyme or rhythm to it. I'm literally just gonna put all my clothes back in how they were before, except now I've got this extra closet behind me, which is fantastic extra storage because I'm gonna be able to put in coats and jackets, big puffy um, track suits, anything that's just too big for a wardrobe space. Then at the top, I've got some extra storage where I can put maybe overflow makeup or I don't know, like bulky things that we don't necessarily need in other rooms or in the wardrobe. And then on the bottom, I've got space for extra shoes, which is fantastic. So as it stands, he is cleaning all of the carpet in the bedrooms, the landing and the staircase. And as you can see, we do have a fair amount of stuff in each of the rooms. My logic is, I'm gonna clear this room out first and ask him to start in here, move everything from this room into the other rooms, and then this can become the main dumping ground when we need to move stuff from this room and this room and the wardrobe room. These are all my jackets and coats and puffer jackets and everything. And I was packing these up. I just put them into plain like bit miners and then you gather it around the nozzle of a vacuum, suck out all the air and then just put tape. Actually works really, really well. Instead of having to buy more of those plastic storage bags. So now I'm gonna rip these open and hang them all up. For the jackets and like big things, I like to use these sorts of hangers. I just feel like they're much more durable. I'm pretty sure I've got these from Primark, but I have seen them on Amazon before. Actually, I should probably clean in here too. I'm not actually carried. I'm just using this for Flora anti-back wipes. They sent me these. I don't normally buy wipes, but they're actually very, very handy and they smell so good. But I'm gonna say sweet pea. I'm not gonna put anything on that top shelf just for now because I've just wiped it down and it looks like this, so I'm gonna have to actually take that down and scrub that, I think. Ew, so gross and nasty. I got very distracted yesterday. The carpet cleaner guy came, Rob's mum and dad were leaving, going back up to Newcastle, some of my friends came. We just, the main focus was get the carpets cleaned. And also I've realized how many boxes I still have not unpacked. I genuinely thought, I'm not really into star signs, but I see all the time Virgos are like perfectionists. They want everything neat and tidy. That is definitely me. And I thought I would have every single box unpacked within like the first two days of moving in. Two weeks, I think we've been here 11 days now and the boxes still are not unpacked. Here's the second bedroom. This looks like this mainly only because we were getting the carpets cleaned and we had to dump everything from the other rooms in here. But as you can see, underneath this is a big sofa. All of my clothes are still in the Ikea bags, the vacuum suction bags, randomly placed everywhere. And then I've got a whole load of boxes that need to be unpacked. But I know what's in all of them because I did write on them. And I think it's about time that I get them unpacked because I could do with making the house look really nice and cozy. I wanna show you the carpets though because the carpets look amazing. I'm gonna shout out this guy that did them. He's called Alan and he works for, in Peterborough, the Peterborough area. I'll leave a link down below to either if he's got a website or just like his number or something if you want to get your carpets cleaned. So we kind of walked all over it last night but it had all of the like hoover lines. He first vacuums everything up and then he goes in with his carpet cleaning 
big machine but it's like a dry one so it doesn't make the floor super super wet i mean it was a tad wet because obviously he needs to be able to get it out but it dries so so quickly and we were able to put stuff in the room straight away like he had no issue with us putting all of the stuff in this room when he'd cleaned it so they look so clean and fluffy and they're all like yeah they're all fluffy and stuff again this is the wardrobe room here you can kind of see the the carpet lines that his machine left because i haven't been in this room since but it smells so nice. The hallway was a big one, just felt really like old. Like I don't think they've changed the hallway carpet compared to the bedrooms. You can see the difference between them. Um, it's a much more hard wearing carpet and it's much thinner, but it did feel sticky and it did feel dirty. I cannot lie. That is one major thing that I'm so happy he's come and cleaned this. I always use these vacuum seal packs to transport any clothes or store them over winter or summer um, and then you can fold them up and use them another time. I will probably put my spring and summer stuff into these and put them under my bed for storage. loads of stuff this all still needs to be hung up really it's things like blazers suits and just things that i would like to hang up i've definitely got the room but i don't have the hangers i've only got three hangers left and i definitely need to hang up most of this so i think what i'm gonna do is put those to the side for now do my drawers we'll pop to primark go and pick up some hangers come back and finish it off. This bag here is PJs and gym wear, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna put them into piles and then divide them up between the drawers that we have left. Now I know for a fact I've got too many PJs and too much gym wear, but I've already cleared all of it out and I don't wanna get rid of any of this stuff. So we're gonna have to make it work. Once I kind of figure out where everything should go and I'm happy where everything is, we can come back and do an organized video. Let me know if you'd like to see that. I need some tips though. So if you've got any tips, what actually works for you? Cause I see a lot of things on TikTok and sometimes I'm like, is that practical? Like, yeah, it looks really good, but is that actually practical? Like, does it just end up like a big mess afterwards? I need my life as simple as possible honestly you would think that i was a gym babe the way i have all this gym wear and i'm really really not and look i bought another one from amazon the other day because i saw it on tiktok <laughs> but it looks really nice it's meant to be one of those ones and this bit in the middle is meant to be like really oh it is actually it's really like tight so it's meant to sculpt you shorts jogging bottoms can go on the side i love a matching pj set i really do this is so much more clean. Okay, love that. PJs, gym, and then I think we'll have overflow of some things. So I'm gonna leave this space clear. I've got like, three main types of trousers that I wear. Jeans, cargo trousers, and then like my smart trousers that I would wear for like a nice meal out or if I were going somewhere that I needed to dress a little bit smarter. And I usually fold them in a three. So I'll fold it like a third of the way up like that and then just down on itself like this and pop them inside. And that's actually good for these sorts of IKEA packs wardrobes because then you can get four things in because you can put one in this quarter, one there, one there, and one here. I need jeans for every type of occasion. I really do. I need slouchy, comfy jeans. I need tight jeans. I need black jeans. I need black jeans that have no rips. I need black jeans that have rips. I need black cargo jeans. I need black mum waisted jeans. And I've got some like smart trousers that I'll still dress down with sneakers and stuff. Sneakers? <laughs> trainers i'll still dress them down with trainers so a whole drawer for trousers is definitely a necessity okay and now we're down to tops and i kind of packed these away in a way that they were already sorted into the piles so i didn't have to do too much thinking when it comes to unpacking them all and then all my bodysuits which i'll put together t-shirts and like tank top sort of vibes that are just good for everyday reaching hey team it's a little while later i'm having some lunch i stopped myself getting any takeaway from outside because i'm sick to death the takeaway packet noodles this tastes awful i'm not gonna lie i think we got these from tesco 
There is no flavour in this whatsoever. I went to Primark and they had no hangers. Like none. Normally they have them all at the checkout desks or they've got like a huge home section that normally has them. So then I thought, okay, I'll go to B&M because I know they do similar ones there. I've gone to B&M. I have found some hangers. However, a little bit annoying because they're not the same as the Primark ones. They're similar looking, but they're not the same. They were also a little bit more expensive. So you get eight for £3.50. The Primark ones are 10 for £2.80. However, I didn't realise these ones are quite cool and snazzy because I was looking and I saw this little nodule and I thought what's that and it turns out you can stack them on top of each other like this so if I've got a couple of smaller going out tops like I've told you my little brolets and stuff I can hang them on these and stack them so that they run the whole length of the the whole height of the wardrobe um but I'm not wasting loads of space you know along the rod so I'm actually quite impressed with these well I need to try them out but I'm hoping they're going to be good so I think I'm gonna off camera I'm just gonna put all the rest of those in the wardrobe and I'll show you what it looks like later I've just finished um, putting away most of the like clothes clothes I'm really happy because all the floor space is back um, and this is currently what we're looking like. I'm very happy with that. I've still got a fair few amount of hangers. So if there's any other bits that are in the wash at the moment, I can still hang those up. Then on top of that, I've got my shoe storage units that I got from Amazon. I'll leave these linked down below for you. Okay, I just got Rob to help me drag this in here. This used to be in my office. This was my office um, like storage unit or sideboard. Really pretty, I love this so much. This is from eBay. If I can find the link for it, I will put it down below for you such a nice color and so well manufactured so what i'm thinking is i'm going to put my underwear all that stuff in here and then in this section i'm going to use this for my overflow of makeup and hair products i'm hoping that these will kind of just fit Yay! We'll just kind of fit in there like that. So I've got loads of makeup, excess makeup, lashes and stuff that I'm going to set up here. And I've got some perfumes and stuff that I'll reach for on a daily basis. And then I've got a container. This one's spilt in the pot, so I need to reorganise it. But then I've got a container for skincare and another container for a little bit more overflow of makeup and bits and bobs. It's gonna feel so nice knowing that I've got all of my makeup and stuff to hand again because over the past few weeks, my skin has just not been good because of stress of moving, but also not having my products, being able to reach for them and have them on hand. Like when I've got a certain issue with my skin, I know exactly how to tackle it and target it, but it's because it's been really hard not having all of my products just like laid out for me to see, if you know what I mean? So I'm gonna be really happy to have them all back in action. One, two, one, two. I thought I'd just show you an end result of how everything looks and how we're going to be living in this space over the next few months until we have a makeover underway. But let's do a mini tour of what we have going on now. Okay, so this is how you get into our dressing room or our wardrobe room, shall I say. We've got my coats in here, very happy with these, but I need to get some more of these white hangers, the wooden ones. Uh, they're much more sturdy, I think, for heavier items like coats and jackets and whatnot. We have got two sets of the IKEA Pax wardrobes, systems with the mirrored doors on the front. Now, if you do want to know, these are the slightly shorter versions. So I think they're 201 centimeters in height. And then I think you can go up to like 220 something centimeters so you can get an extra length on there which i think we could possibly get away with now with this house because they wouldn't fit before rob's wardrobe i mean i don't think there's anything really to show you he's very organized and keeps all of his items looking fresh he keeps really good he takes really good care of all of his stuff i kind of i want to be like rob when i grow up then into my section I didn't realise how many clothes I have and I genuinely do not want to get rid of any of those. I've already done my deep cleans and you know I've been quite tough with things but I do want to keep all of this stuff. Some of this stuff I've had for five years, three years, two years but I'm really happy with how my wardrobe is looking. So I've got all of my cardigans, jumpers, thicker sportswear, tracksuits and some hoodies, blazers, 
suits shirts which i do love a shirt so i think i might be purchasing a few more of those for the winter especially for layering i haven't yet done my accessory drawer i will do that at some point i then have my tops drawer my jeans and trousers and then gym wear diy and miscellaneous and my pajamas i have so many pajamas then moving on i have got shoes ignore those they need to go in the garage they're my hiking boots but i've got all of my trainers and heels and stuff in there i do need to tidy this up and spruce it up a bit more but happy that they've got a home moving on to this corner of the room i have now got this sideboard storage unit in here here i have got some everyday skincare perfumes makeup my makeup brushes things like this little bag which i usually take for traveling if i'm doing just a quick overnight thing this is all of my hair care so i've got my straighteners my revlon airbrush combs brushes hair stuff then i've got my underwear socks and my bras and miscellaneous bits and bobs and then on top i do need to get some sort of organizer for this because again i've got another bag here which i usually take for traveling um, and then just things that i'm going to reach for on the daily just on top of this dresser got my lighter for my candles but yeah just like everyday stuff there really but i really want to make this a little bit more dressy so that will come in time i'm not i'm not bothered about that that's that's gonna work out and i have a few boxes that we still need to unpack like all of my candles my coffee table books etc they are still all stored away in storage and the house feels really lovely and homely but being able to put those little touches on top are going to make it feel so so much more cozy especially it's getting really cold outside now i want to be able to put on some candles and you know i've got my vinyl player my record player that rob bought me for my birthday i want to be able to get all of that out and you know use it around the house so with that being said if you haven't already please do subscribe like this video comment and i really would appreciate any help that you've got with how we could transform this room but yeah that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one take care guys bye